Yo guys welcome to Tetrax today I'm here again with another new video on OnePlus 3 and this video is about the review of Lineage OS on OnePlus 3 as you guys already know Cyanogen mode is dead and there's no more Cyanogen mode and I did disk my phone to for installing Lineage OS unofficial version on the OnePlus 3 I had updated a like in this video for the disk I have done don't forget to subscribe to my freaking channel so that you wouldn't miss another video from me. So, firstly, here you can observe the new boot animation, and it's changed from that freaking blue ball to this Android symbol. Here, you may ask about my cracked screen yesterday night. Uh, I just flipped my phone and it ended up with cracks like this. My screen is safe, but this thing. Okay. Anyways, let's dive into the phone. And after unlocking, you can see I'm using a custom launcher that's Nova Launcher 5.0 to just to make it look like the Pixel phone. And let me quickly show you that this is Lineage OS. It's running on Android Nougat 7.1.1 and it's Lineage OS 14.1, 6th date, or 6th of January, built an official version, API Guava. That's pretty much it, and it is exactly the mirror or Xerox of Sanjay 14.1. You can see everything is indeed same. I'd say it is a renamed version of android 7 renamed version of android mode 14.1 as this unofficial one you may not see many new features on it but once official version is released we can expect some changes and here you can see the new here you can see the new notification different from marshmallow here you can customize tiles and next thing you can notice is the little detail about each setting and you can dive from one setting to another through this I, what do you call it I call it the right pull and here you get the new data saver and in display settings you can see here there is an adaptive brightness toggle and live display which uh, automatically sets switches the device into dark mode at a particular time and you can in, even calibrate your color and you can change wallpaper from here and AMA display is that when you receive any notification you display will slightly light up just like always on screen on samsung devices and then here tap, double tap to tap to wake if you enable this we can double tap to wake up our device i don't prefer it it drains battery more and here you can pretty much all the same options here you can set a display size to small default i prefer default here and what's new here is the battery I definitely say battery life is freaking awesome and Oxynos doesn't give me much of a battery and here you can see I'm already at 3 hours 36 minutes of SOT and still at 36 percent I played Pokemon Go a lot but I don't know why it is interested in this and here you can even tweak this device performance you can see your device power and you can see buttons you can even customize your buttons that's double tap to double tap to return to previous app and double tap to camera and long hold to open multi window and next you got the gestures which are pretty much the same as animal 14.1 and additional buttons this is basically the setting of this slide bar what do you, alert slider 
and then here that's exactly Petimo same and the sinus is the srtv mode doesn't work in here as i said it's a based on cyanogen mod 14.1 or it's just a renamed version of cyanogen 14.1 14.1 has the same bug and let me quickly finish this video by saying hope you all enjoy this video subscribe to my channel if you aren't done it yet peace